Hey guys, welcome to Nautilus. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to be talking about a pretty cool spear gun. Uh, this guy right here is the uh, Hatch Amaro spear gun. This one's a 95 centimeter. However, they do make them all the way up to 125. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick run through. It's a pretty sweet gun, but let's check it out. Come on in, as usual, and let's check it out. So let's start at the uh, tip here. They use an addiction uh, spear shaft. This is a 930 second. Um, spring stainless steel, uh, heat treated. You got the um, uses teak uh, as far as the wood that Mike Hatcher is using. Uh, it has a uh, enclosed track, but he also leaves the first couple of inches open, uh, which makes it really easy to put the shaft in there. You'll notice the track is pretty cool; it has a blue color to it. Uh, that's kind of a nice touch that I guess they got going on. Blue wishbones on there with the Hawaiian loop system. Uh, the gun itself, the line uh, line anchor on the bottom. Uh, very nice, very solid piece right there. Uh, it helps give it a little bit of ballasting as well. Uh, you'll notice some of the, sh the shaping on the gun is pretty neat too. This is all one piece. Mike uh, does not use any laminates. Um, these guns do have a heck of a warranty on them. I believe it's a, a lifetime warranty. Uh, it's pretty cool. He's got the Amaro engraved on there. There's some differences though with the new generation hatch uh, Amaro compared to the older ones. You'll notice the most obvious thing is on the back of the handle you see it has using now the AR-15 grip. Uh, it's got the AR-15 grip down there and uh, it's a little bit cleaner setup down here. Uh, you don't got too much of a big slot that the old one used to use. Uh, so it's a little bit more clean, a little bit more, um, I guess, just polished up. Uh, it uses now a reverse trigger mechanism, Neptonics reverse trigger mech from what I can tell. Um, very nice trigger mechanism. You'll see it has a nice big line release so you can put as many wraps of line as you want on this gun. Uh, loading butt also changed a little bit. It's got a foam pad back here so it makes loading a little bit easier. Uh, it's a nice addition with the mech now. You get a little bit more band stretch for the gun. All stainless steel components of course on that trigger mechanism as you can see right there. Trigger uh, Trigger uh, trigger pull also of course stainless steel with the uh, AR-15 grip. This tri this grip can actually be interchanged. You just gotta pop a screw out from the bottom, and uh, you can swap out the uh, the grips if need be. Aside from that, the gun's pretty sweet. Um, what can I say? I think Mike Catcher's been making nice guns for many years now. Uh, uh, by the way, when you wrap the line, you don't have to run it over the shaft. Just basically runs right in through here on this groove. Uh, really cool uh, enclosed track gun option. Uh, really nice teak that he's using on it. Timeless shape. Timeless, kind of like a classic timeless gun. And uh, if you're looking for a nice wood gun, honestly, yeah, there's some other ones that might be a little bit more flashy. Uh, but this one, in my opinion, very nice, and you can't complain with the uh, warranty. Mike Mike Hatcher stands by his products, and uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for checking them out. We'll be posting more reviews and. Uh, and uh, yeah, Bullseye, what do you think of this thing? You like it? I think Bullseye's tired. Alright guys, we'll catch you later, man. Thanks for stopping by.